Greetings from the 2012 Community Volunteer Leadership Conference, the American Diabetes Association's largest volunteer gathering of the year. I'm Anna Baker here in New Orleans with Kelly Close, president of Close Concerns, who has just won our Excellence in Health Communications Award, the very first, so congratulations. Oh, thank you very much, Anna. This is a real privilege and honor to be here. Um, this award is given to someone in the media who has done their, uh, a lot of work to raise awareness of diabetes. So can you tell me about your work? In that realm? Absolutely. So our mission is to make people smarter about diabetes and obesity. And the way that we do that is I work with an incredible team in San Francisco um, with five associates who get up every day like I do and, and think about what, what's the most important thing that I can do today um, to find out what's happening in the world of diabetes and how can I distill it, how can I synthesize it and um, get it out to people so that they're smarter about it and so that it increases their own, um, their own, their own productivity and their own work. So the best um, way to think about it, I, we we scour the news that's coming out every day. We go to about forty conferences every year all over the world. Wow. Um, the brain power is amazing um, that the team brings, and it just helps me be smarter. And um, I'm then really privileged to get to share it with so many people. Um, but I think the work that we do that we're most proud of is our work through Diatribe. It's a free patient newsletter um, that comes out every month and says what are the things that are going on that is really great and, and also what are the disappointing things that are happening because it's important um, to recognize that too. You were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 1986, so about 26 years ago, correct? Yes. Um, so how has the landscape changed in those 26 years? Wow, well, the landscape has changed quite a lot, and um, being here at the at the award ceremony, we also heard from people who have had diabetes for 50 years and even more. I think the important thing is to recognize, wow, things have changed over a long period of time. So I'm lucky that they have certainly changed in the last um, quarter of a century. We have better insulin, we have better technology, we have, we have better just understanding of how diabetes works. There is, um, I think, an, an importance in recognizing that there's better understanding on the behavioral side that we really need to make sure that people with diabetes aren't isolated. Um, we need to think all of the time about what we can do to fight the huge cost pressures. And that's, that's something actually disappointing that's happened in the last 25 years. I think it's become harder for people with diabetes um, to be able to get access to all of the things that they need. Um, but this is very different from even 50 years ago or even 75 years ago. I cannot wait until there has been somebody around for 100 years that has been living with diabetes. And I know that that is going to change and that will, that will happen um, because there are so many really exciting things going on on the research front. Well, thank you for everything that you've done to help raise awareness of diabetes. I myself am a subscriber, so I really appreciate the way that you distill all the information that's out there. Well, Anna, you know, maybe one of the biggest things that has changed in 25 years is just as somebody with diabetes, how I get my information. There's so many advocates out there working in social media, mm -hmm. and you're at the very top of the list with your work that you do with ADA. So thank you very much, and thanks so much to ADA. Okay. Well, thank you. Congrats on your award, and enjoy your time in New Orleans. Absolutely. We're sharing the wonderful work of our award winners here in New Orleans at the Community Volunteer Leadership Conference. Stay tuned for more.